I've never built a proper car in build -about, and the reason for this is because it's insanely hard to do. But with the new mirror tool, I think I can actually do it. But because this build is so difficult, I honestly don't even know where to start. So I think I'm just gonna plan out how to actually build this. So I went online and I found these exact measurements of a Lamborghini, and you know what? I just converted them over to build -about, and this is looking pretty good. So I think this is where I'm gonna start. Now, one thing that was very important to me is that I could actually fit a chair inside of here without it looking super goofy, because otherwise, I mean, how am I gonna ride the car? Now, even though this is far from done, I have a much better idea of what to work on. So let's get started with the very first layer. And yes, I'm actually gonna build this thing in layers. And actually, you know what? For this layer, I think I can pretty much completely reuse the bottom right here. All right, so there we have that first layer. And now I'm gonna have to figure out exactly where to place the wheels. And you know what? It looks like I might not even be able to use real wheels on this build because these are looking way too big. Those are a little bit smaller. I think that might work. Okay, you know what? That is actually looking a little bit better. And I'm gonna take the side view again. And that way I can kind of measure up to see if this is actually looking right. And you know what? Those wheels right there aren't even really looking all too big. That looks pretty good. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually building the circle that goes around the wheel. And you know what? The thing that always confused me the most about working on this kind of stuff is when certain angles meet other angles and literally nothing makes sense anymore. Uh, so I'm just trying to make this part here work where those two angles meet. All right. And you know what? That right there is looking pretty good. So as you can see, uh, this line needed to go straight and then while curving needed to go around a corner, which is actually surprisingly difficult to do and i've got a feeling i've got to do a lot more of that especially for this one which is literally at no point gonna be going straight okay so a while later and i finally got it done so if you look at it from this side it just looks like two wheel wells which is exactly what i want it to be but then when you look at it from up top as you can see we still have the exact same curvature of the car and that right there took me about an hour <laughs> we're gonna just mirror the entire thing just to see how everything is looking if we were to just simply mirror the entire thing over to the other side. And you know what? That right there is actually looking pretty dang good. All right, time to lead half and continue working with the top of the car. And honestly, the entire thing is looking too small, even though I literally went with perfect measurements. So I'm actually going to move the entire thing just over a little bit. So that way, I don't know, it just, it looks right, but even though it's technically wrong, okay? I, I just want this thing to look good. Okay, that looks a little bit better. All right, and it looks like we're going to have to make everything in the front here the same angle as that part so how exactly i'm gonna do this i don't know it needs to fit that shape but also that shape bro this is so complicated <laughs> okay so somehow from this shape right here i gotta cut off that part right there dude there is so much rotation zero that's happening here my mind is literally melting okay rotation zero we gotta match that exact angle there. So it looks a little something like so. Guiltle zero. <laughs> there you go, that looks about right. Can I do the same thing but for that other block? It's like so. All right, there it is. All right, so I think we actually got those angles right. And I actually think I also want that shape right there to stay exactly the same because we actually need that. But one of the things I'm now gonna have to add, I just now realized, is that all of these parts right here are like rotated inwards, which I literally don't even know how to do. Um, but you know what? The hood is actually looking pretty good. Yeah, this is the part where all of these different strange angles are actually starting to meet, and I somehow have to make it look good. So I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> you know, it doesn't look like there's like a million parts right here, but trust me, there is a lot of very tiny details that I needed to add to actually make this shape look like anything. Um, I think it's going okay now. I don't know if it... <laughs> I don't know. This is not exactly how a Lamborghini looks, but I'm trying my best. Okay, I'm trying to at least get the most important shapes right. And I think that so far this is looking better than anything I've ever made. Okay, you know what? I added this thing on the side right here, which is like a vent hole for aerodynamics or something silly like that. And you know what? Now that I added this side panel right here, this is actually starting to look like an Aventador. Like, this thing might actually turn out pretty good. And after a couple more changes, this car is starting to look absolutely insane. As in, this is definitely the best looking build I have ever made. The only thing we have left to do is actually make the back look good. And actually, there is a couple gap fills that I just couldn't figure out. Like, this one right here. Like, this is going to be pretty difficult. But... I think we should be able to do it. Now, I also gave it like a little bit of a roof window thing so you can kind of see the engine or at least where the engine would be. I don't think I'm going to add a full engine in there, but it actually looks pretty good. And actually, one thing I think I will do is actually make the entire car a little bit wider because at some point I actually decided to make it longer, but I didn't adjust the width. And actually, it looks a little bit strange that when I finished duping it, like as you can see, it looks really strangely skinny. And actually, 
The side here looks really good. Oh my god. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna have to make this entire thing at least a little bit thicker. All right, so there we go. I made the entire thing a bit wider. And yeah, that right there is just looking a whole lot better. As in, it just doesn't look nearly as strange and cramped. Uh, but yeah, that back is still looking absolutely atrocious. And it's honestly the only part of the car that does. So... I'm gonna have to do something about that. So actually, currently, I have this roof here at the back also slanted. So right here, we have a window, and it's actually the whole roof is slanted because that's how I thought it would be. But actually, it looks like at the end here, it actually straightens out again. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I guess I'm just gonna have to eyeball it. <laughs> that looks about right. Oof, and then we have that problem. Oh my god, I knew this was gonna happen. The moment you change one part, like, everything else, like, breaks. <laughs> yes, we're gonna have to fix the, uh, this okay so that's looking okay i have a bit of a weird thing right there but I, I can fix that mirroring this and then rotating all right there we go so yeah as you can see right there that part is slanted and this one is pretty much straight all right you know what that right there is actually starting to look pretty good now i know these parts are currently a little bit too thick but that should be better and the idea is is that these are going to be like the rear lights so that right there is going to be black and the rest of it is all going to be the car's color and actually I think just like that already it's starting to look pretty good now i just want to round things off as much as i can because honestly that is one of the easier things to do and i actually think it gives you like a much better look so for example that part right there just give that a little bit of a just something like so and actually that right there does a lot now i don't know if that's on the real car or if that is just a sharp angle but i just think it looks better so I'm adding a lot of stuff like that. I think that is looking just about right. Oh, dude, that looks so clean. And actually, I think with that, we almost have our entire car done. I just I just got to put in the windows and color the whole thing. But other than that, I think... Oh, and the wheels. Okay, we got quite a bit of stuff left to do. All right, you know what? I'm going to start with the windows because I think those should be pretty easy. All right, there we go. That right there is looking pretty good for those windows. But the one thing I'm worried about... This part right here is flat. That part right there is not. So if I add in a windshield like I was planning to, yeah, it, it doesn't really work. That looks good, but then that right there is a problem. Oh, God. I think what I'll actually do is I'll add a lip right here on the end, which I don't know if that is in a real car, but in my car it will be. Just to help me fill that gap in. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Just a little something like so, and then I'll probably slant it here at the end. And yeah, that will just make connecting these parts way easier, even though it is kind of like cheating. <laughs> Rotation here, just like so. And you know what? I think that right there actually looks pretty good. Of course, I still got to fill in some glass, but at least it doesn't look weird. Right, that is that gap filled. And you know what? I think that right there is the entire windshield done, and I think it looks pretty good. I think next up, we have the wheels, headlights, and that's pretty much the entire thing done. And I think that shape right there is looking pretty good for the headlights. So I don't think I want to make a cutout because that would be very difficult. Okay, I think I'm just going to go with headlights that are off because it will be a lot easier to make. All right, you know what? That right there is looking amazing. Now, I built these out of glass. So that way, depending on which angle you look at them from, it actually kind of gives it a little bit of a depth effect. And I really like it. All right, now for the wheels, I think this will actually be very easy because I think we should be able to just make a pattern and clone it all the way around. Now, for the actual build itself, I'm still going to use the real wheels, but I'm just going to hide them. So there's my wheels. Uh-oh. Uh, -oh. uh <laughs> Uh, the inside is not looking great. I don't know. Uh, actually, I don't know if I even want to touch this. Okay, so these wheels are exactly two blocks big and one block wide. So if I just build two blocks big, one block wide wheels, I can make custom wheels, turn off the collision, and just put them inside of that. And it should look absolutely amazing. Okay, and then on here, I'm going to make the pattern that will pretty much just make the entire thing look good. And actually, a very popular design I'm seeing is kind of like a triangle like a peace sign so i think that's what i'm gonna go for okay so i think it should be a little something like that then that's gonna be the tire actually i probably want to make that a little bit thicker i think that's actually looking pretty good i just gotta mirror this whole thing and i think that should look pretty good i just yeah obviously gotta fix that and i think i just gotta clone this entire thing around i really hope this looks good okay and it doesn't okay that needs to be a little bit closer together up there okay that right there is looking amazing Dude, that looks like a proper tire. Like, what? Okay, that looks really good. Now, I think all we gotta do is simply slide these onto the other tires, just like so. Okay, now right now it looks bad, but we just make this thing invisible, and now it looks amazing. Now, I do think we're gonna have to do a little bit of piston magic right here to actually get the wheel inside of the car, but other than that, it should be perfect. And you know what? I think with that part done, our entire car is finished. Now, there are a couple final details that I need to add, but before I can add those, I actually have to duplicate the entire car to the other side. So I think the time has finally come. We mirror the whole thing. 
Boom. Just like so. Everything over. There you go. Oh my god, dude. That looks so good. Now, there's going to be... Yeah, there's going to be a couple tiny issues that we got to fix because of the mirroring. But most of this is looking absolutely perfect. Now, one of the things we actually are going to have to add is a driver's seat and a license plate. And you know what? That should be pretty easy. And you know what? One of the things that's actually kind of funny is that in the very beginning right here, I actually planned out where the driver's seat needs to go. So I think I could actually just simply own this over. <laughs> yeah, dude, it literally lines up with every single one of the other cars. On. There you go. And you know what? I think that actually looks pretty good. All right. And I think with that, our entire car is done. Let's drop it. Let's see if it's actually going to work. Okay. Okay. It did, it did things. Okay, we can drive. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. We actually have a freaking car. And you know what? I'm actually super happy with how this turned out. Now, there are some things that obviously I could have done better. But honestly, this is the first ever proper car that I've made that, you know, is actually for like racing around and stuff. And I think I did pretty dang good. And honestly, throughout this entire process, I have learned so much about how you actually build these things. And honestly, if I was to give you one major tip, it is to just do one part at a time. Take one wheel well, make it look really good, and then move on to the next thing. Because that way, you kind of just so slowly build up different parts that look just right. And then by the end of it, you have a car that looks half decent if you don't destroy the roof. 